Hi there, I hope you're doing well from wherever you're watching from. My name is Sam as always. I always say that every day and it's been a while. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we can integrate Virtual TJ with FL Studio, like the title of the video says. Um, you can do this with any digital audio workstation or DAW, but we are going to look at FL Studio for today and we shall see how to make them really work together when we are mixing live. It's going to be quite a lengthy video. If this is something you're interested in seeing, then please make sure you stick around till the very end and don't actually miss any step of the video because there's a lot of setups that you have to keep in mind. There's a lot of precautions that you really have to know. And of course, if you're not yet my subscriber, please do that today. And there's a lot more to expect from me. So please, after subscribing, turn on that notification bell and then you'll always be updated. Without so many stories, let's get into it. All right, but before we even go to anything like that, I'm going to tell you some of the reasons why you might need to do these connections right here. As we all know, Virtual DJ itself has limitations, especially when you have to use effects. There are limited effects. And then there are external VST plugins. Even if the ones that support Virtual DJ, they are actually few. So you might need to use a lot of them and then Virtual DJ doesn't support you. So you can be able to access the VST plugins right inside of another digital audio workstation in this case, which is going to be FL Studio. Another thing might be for compression, any other thing that you really want to do. If you want to have high quality recordings, especially for your mixtape, then FL Studio is going to be a much better option to use than just using the generic virtual DJ. I'm sorry to say generic, but that is the real thing. There might be some other reasons why you might want to do this, but we shall have a look at that later. So let's look at what will help us do this. Now I have this software here, which is called VB Audio Cable, right? Yeah, something like that. I'm not going to show you how to download this because it's just as simple as you already know. I'm going to leave it in my Telegram channel, right? The link is in the description down below. And you will have to extract it. If you extract it, uh, you'll see a folder like this. So you'll have these things that you will want to install. So this is for Windows. If you're on the download page, maybe I think I should also leave the link. You'll also have to download for Mac in case you're on Mac. So if you download it for Windows, like I'm doing right here, you'll, you will need to run this setup x64 as an administrator. And then it will bring you right here. So I already have it installed. If you are installing it for the first time, instead of remove drivers right here, you will see install driver, right? So I already have it installed. So it is asking if I want to rather remove it. I will not do that. So that is basically it. Please make sure you follow all these steps and don't skip a bit. Now we are done with the installation of the software. I'm imagining that we're going to go into our audio settings. The first thing that we shall do. So you, we can access the settings right when we come to the start menu here and just search for sound. Or we can come right here on this volume label here and then right click. So we shall come to open volume mixer right over there. So what you can see right here is the output device. We are going to select and set it to, uh, by default for you, you will find it on speakers, headphones, right? You, you'll find it there because that is it, or depending on the driver that your computer is using. I also have V8 because right now I am speaking into the mic that is connected to a V8 sound card, but we specifically want to use this as our output device. So you make sure you select that cable input VB audio cable and that that is the first setting and then we shall also go into fl studio if you have it installed i'm using fl studio 21 you will have to come to options right here and then you come to audio settings so when you come over here show seo panel click there and then when you come here input you'll have to select once again cable output like that right so now this is where you should pay attention I am speaking into a V8, so I have selected my output to be V8 because I am also listening to it in my ears because I didn't want to record loud music from outside entering into my mic. But now let's imagine you are mixing to the loudspeakers outside, then that means you need to select these speakers or headphones, right? Real tech high definition audio instead of V8. I just said V8 because I am doing a tutorial right now and I'm not outputting the sound to the loudspeakers around me because the mic is going to mess up everything so for your case you need to put speakers that so let me just take mine back i hope you really noted that so let's close this and close that we're going to come back for more settings in 
FL Studio right here, but let's first go into Virtual DJ and do some few settings as well. All right, so come to Virtual DJ and then go to Configurations up there. So we're going to go to Audio Settings right where it is. So right now, for today's case, we are going to output everything from Virtual DJ, right? So you select to make sure the outputs are going to be the master. And then right here, it is going to be VB audio cable, like the virtual cable, right? Please do that. And then here, you should select channel 1 and 2, and then apply it, right? So we are going to, that means we're going to send sound, the master sound, the, the sound from the master output of virtual DJ through this virtual audio cable into the FL Studio that we just set, right? So that sound will come right into uh, FL Studio right here. It will come into FL Studio. And then FL Studio will have to bring it out to the speakers. That is quite simple. We're not yet done. So you have to do that. After, after that, you have to come to... You have to input that sound through some channel, right? FL Studio will output that sound through some channels. So you'll have to come to your mixer. Let's imagine there's nothing there. Sometimes you'll see things like this if you're new to FL Studio anyway. But if not, then you know where the mixer is. It's right here. So you open that. So me, I don't want to put it on the master uh, on the master channel. I will put it on channel one. So when you come there, you just select the channel, of course, click there once, and then you come right here. By default, you'll find it maybe to none. So you'll have to put it into in one and two like in one and in two so our sound will come from virtual dj right into this channel one remember it is uh, connected to the to the master output so it will also go out to the speakers so you can do anything into this channel one to affect the sound that is coming from virtual dj you can add any effects right here as you can see i already have this fruity flanger right here which is going to this channel and then out to the speakers isn't that amazing? I really hope it's amazing. So please, if you've watched up to this moment and you haven't yet subscribed, then please kindly do it. And thank you for watching. Let's go ahead. Um, I'm going to sample some things. I want us to make sure the sound is really coming. But due to copyright, I am not going to play these sounds here. These are protected materials. I'm going to look for some free sound that I think I really have in my PC. All right, so I'm done loading my song into deck one. This is my own remix. So I'm going to play it and then if I'm able to hear it or if you hear it outside that means the sound has gone through FL Studio. Let's play it. Alright, so it has come through to FL Studio so you, you can have... As you can see over here, so the sound is coming from Virtual DJ. That means we can add effects of VST plugins for me. Not only VST, but any other plugin that an FL Studio has to offer to be able to do So let's try something. This is it. You can hear that. thing it's is it really working yes it is all right so that was just one you can add as many as you want because you have up to 10 effects right here let's add another one so that is basically it i really hope you get an idea i just wanted to give you that clue you can explore it and take it a little bit further and also in a later video this is a reason why you should subscribe in a later video i'm going to show you how you can mix different decks maybe up to four decks of virtual dj differently so that you can apply these effects to independent decks of virtual dj independent sounds and do a lot more with it i just wanted you to have the setup first in this video so in another video I will be bringing this to you and there is a lot more in store to offer. 
I really hope this was awesome for you. I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please make sure you subscribe to the video. I mean to my channel rather. Yeah, subscribe to the video of course. Like the video, share, comment. I'll be able to really respond to your comments right here. Thank you so much for watching. See you in another video. Peace.